from what I understand from what was in the paper, Carol Paladino got almost a million and a half bucks to develop this property and other properties in the Buffalo area. As you can see, he's done one hell of a job here. He can't even cut the grass. Um, it's, it, it gets ridiculous when somebody, somebody wants to do this, that's, that's a problem enough. But when they trash other people for doing the same thing, I find it pretty disgusting. Uh, I've been on many of Carl Paladino's jobs, the Rite Aid stores in particular, with elegant development, and he's hired uh, Eastern Europeans who pay no taxes, no compensation, no disability. He's hired uh, illegal workers who they bring them in 10 at a time in a van and house them in one house, a two bedroom house. I've seen him hire the Job Corps kids, a federally run program. He takes them off the job and has them work for three or four bucks an hour to do his Rite Aid stores. Then he charges a premium rent to, to do that. I'm sure that if Rite Aid knew that, then they would say we don't want to we don't want to do business with you anymore yet the guy constantly beats up everybody he even said some ridiculous thing about going to Albany with a baseball bat well my suggestion to you Carl is maybe you ought to use it on yourself first because you seem like a pretty bad abuser to me Carl Palladino is unfortunately not the only abuser of the Empire Zone program or other state sanctioned corporate welfare programs Sadly, the example of his taking handouts that don't produce jobs or breathe hope into our distressed communities is typical. The path to economic recovery for New York State and Western New York in particular is bound to be long. To be successful over the long term, that path needs to include breaking with the status quo and reforming the way we do economic development. It's time for something very simple, accountable, transparent economic development that creates good jobs. The issue that we're here uh, to talk about today that's in, represented by this overgrown vacant lot uh, and Mr. Paladino's subsidy of $1.5 million is really indicative of a shadow government that's out of control. It's controlled by insiders uh, with self-interests uh, who are concerned about one thing and that's making money with taxpayer dollars and, and very rarely being held accountable for the, the results that they're supposed to produce. Roger Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Give the money back. That's the Working Families Party position. If you're not, if you're not going to pay good jobs, you're not going to develop. If you're going to take public money and public tax dollars, and you don't do anything with it, and this is what, this is the result. Uh, why does Carl Palladino get to pocket 1.5 million dollars? And what is he, what is he telling the taxpayers in New York State as he runs for governor? Uh, on a platform that says that he's for government accountability. 